All right, you guys want the f rant? I'll rant again. Clip this. I'll put this up on YouTube so I don't have to say it again. Hey folks, welcome to Open Analysis Live, or rather a Twitch clip from our OA Labs Live channel on Twitch, which you should go check out. We're probably live right now. All right. So for all of you who use VPNs, if you run a VPN and you're like, oh, I don't log my shit, whatever, it doesn't matter. If you're if you're operating inside of Five Eyes Country, you're, all your shit is logged anyway. It doesn't really matter that you're not keeping logs or whatever. That's not how it works, obviously. Everybody knows this, it's it's public knowledge. You just need to go and take a look at how the Snowden stuff, you know, what, what was revealed there. It's very clear that there is no such thing as no logs. It doesn't work that way. Um, so yeah, all your shit is logged. Um, if you're doing illegal stuff, uh, that's, <laughs> you're fucked basically. Um, it's, there's no anonymi there's no anonymization. Uh, the, no, there's no protection uh, if you're doing illegal shit. Don't do illegal shit anyway, but if you're doing that, you're a fool. Crazy, you're a fool, I can't cope with this. It doesn't, it doesn't help you in any way. What is the purpose of using a VPN if you're not using it for <laughs> illegal shit? I want to be anonymous. Anonymous from who? An <laughs> Anonymous from who? The government? They're they're logging all your shit, man. That's that's how it works. If they weren't, they'd be fired, and they'd hire someone who could log your shit, right? So anonymous from who? You need to ask yourself that. What is your threat model? What is the point of it? And I think for a lot of people, the answer to that question is anonymous from like advertisers or anonymous from like the end sites that you're going to. What exactly are cookies, and how do they work? Or like, I want to get, um, yeah, cheap Netflix is another good one, right? I want to get uh, access to, I want to break down G uh, geo IP barriers, which is like VPNs are perfect for that. If you're using a VPN to like get access um, through a geo IP barrier, you know, you want to watch like US Netflix in Canada or whatever. That's that's perfect. Yeah, geo locking, exactly. Yeah, that's that's 100%. That's like the only valid reason for using a VPN. But what I would say about that is that you really don't. Uh, you really don't need a VPN. You don't need to pay them any money to get around it. Can't you just roll a VPN made by the one person you can definitely trust online yourself? The answer is yes. You definitely can. Just go and open a VPS in that country, and you can route through it, and it's way safer, way less, way less exposure. Um, you know, you control it, and you exit through it. Yeah. So anyway, that's my little rant about it. Um, I guess some people don't have the technical capability to pay whatever, I think it's like $2 now for a VPS in any country in the world. So they don't have the technical capability to pay you that $2 and set up a reverse proxy or whatever. So in that case, you got to use a VPN. I'm pretty sure everyone on the stream has that technical capability though. There's no reason to be using a VPN. That's that's it. <laughs> there, there, there's, no, uh, there's no need to do that. Um, and then also there's uh, the question for security researchers, which is like the last part of the rant. You kind of steer from using VPNs from hiding from threat actors. Yeah, that's, a, that's the last part, right? So the last part that I want to talk about is people who are doing malware analysis and they're us using VPNs. Okay, yes, I use VPNs for that. Everyone uses VPNs for that, but it you need to be very careful about what VPNs you're using. The VPNs that are advertised on like YouTube streams and shit are not what you want to do not use those they, they don't pro they don't help you at all so all of those guys the way that it works because it's economical is they run vpss right so they they pay the two dollars for vpss in other countries and then they write your traffic through it it's very easy surf shark it's very easy for threat actors in fact many of them do this like uh, this is why this is why people don't use these this is why it won't well, that's why people who know what they're doing don't use these VPN providers. What happens is the threat actors will just block list any server IP. So anything that comes from a non-residential block of IPs, you can look these up, they're, the ASNs are public. You can look up which ones are residential and which ones are commercial, and they'll just block all the commercial ones. So you will call to a C2 and it'll be like, the C2 is dead. And you'll be like, okay, well it's dead, so much for that. But then you'll call to it from your home IP, which is residential, and you'll get a response. Why? Because they're blocking everything that is commercial. And this used to be something that was only done by a couple threat actors, like a couple large organization, Amitad, etc. Like the, the the big boys. John C. Nowadays, everybody does this. This is extremely common. So if you're going through, hey, what's going on, Lloyd? So if you're going through a VPN 
in order to like hide your shit or something from the threat actor yeah it's you're you're, you're just shooting yourself in the foot so if you want to go through a VPN to hide yourself from a threat actor, which I, you don't need to worry about that, but whatever, you know, do, do, your own, do your own thing. Usually the reason why you don't want to go through a VPN legitimately is because you want to touch it from a different geo IP, right? That's why I use it. So I want to be able to touch a C2 from different countries to see how it responds. And this is for specific types of malware, which is geo locked. There's lots of downloaders that are geo locked, right? So you get different payloads for different geographies. And uh, for those ones, uh, I want to uh, I want to touch them through a VPN so that I can go from different countries, just like Netflix, right? But for those, I do not use YouTube stream advertised VPNs because those are just those are just, like I said, those are just VPSs that come from commercial IP blocks, and the threat actors will block them. What I do is I use a few specific kind of expensive VPN providers who go through residential IPs. And you'll know this is special because they will advertise that they go through residential IPs. The other thing is these VPN providers are not that legitimate. They're very gray. What? They're not botnets. I stay away from those ones, but they're, they're kind of weird. They're in the gray area. Usually they sell to like ticket scalpers or they still sell to like people who want to get like, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like you'll basically, buy all the new shoes that people who like shoes want to buy and then you'll resell them on ebay right and so they'll they'll circumvent that sort of like ip block list stuff that these like shoe vendors have i can't remember what it's called but anyway those vpn vpn providers the ones who provide those um are the ones that i use because those guys actually come from residential addresses and then you're yeah like scalping and stuff like that but there's a name for it it's like like sh shoe resellers i can't remember what it's called like shoes are the big one but they also resell other shit too like clothes Whoa. and stuff like that they'll like go on like they'll go on like when there's like a new shoe drop they'll buy them all and then they'll sell them one grailed or whatever i can't remember what it's called anyway there's there's people that do this kind of shit yeah so basically <laughs> no nord vpn yeah basically no no using any of those cheap um, VPN providers that are uh, used residential proxies. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so no using those cheap VPN providers that are advertised on YouTube streams, those YouTuber guys, those are all fucking trash. They're not going to work. And in, you know, in many cases, they're going to give you incorrect information because their exit IPs are going to be blocked by many threat actors, right? So so it's like it's even worse than what you imagine it's like it's like uh you're gonna get bad information from it so um instead find the vp if you want to use a vpn again the only real real reason in my mind to use it for for my threat model for me the only reason why i would ever use it for malware analysis would be to touch a c2 from a different geo ip and the only way to do that in a, in a reasonable way where you're not worried about getting blocked is to use one of those VPS providers that provide residential IPs. That's it, right? Yes, using residential proxies, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, we're not gonna get into that, but yes, that's also an option. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's that's my rant on it. Um, I know there's, uh, I, don't, I don't understand. Well, I guess I kind of, I'm beginning to understand the mindset of people who think that they are anonymizing themselves from something i don't know by using someone else's servers it does, the whole thing if you just say the say the sentence out loud you're going to realize how ridiculous it sounds so you're not say, you're not hiding yourself from anyone the only thing you're really doing is maybe getting access to something that's geo, geo ip blocked right but uh yeah <laughs> anyway i'm going to clip this and I'm gonna put it up on YouTube so that I never get asked about this shit again. Anyway, that's just my thoughts on it. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Go check our Twitch stream. We're probably live right now. And remember until next time, keep exposing mechanics behind the malware. Stay curious. Bye guys.